Hello, I'm Derry Bowen, and I'm going to read you a science story sponsored by the Department of Emergency Management, USAID, and CBC TV8. The name of the story is Droughts, written by Melissa Stewart. When will it rain? That was the question on everyone's mind. It had been weeks and weeks since the last real storm. A couple of times, a few scattered raindrops fell from the sky, but not enough. The water didn't even soak into the ground. There was a drought. What is a drought? It's a long period of time with less rain or snow than usual. Most droughts last a few weeks or months, but some go on for years and years. When a drought happens, the water level in lakes and rivers drops. The soil dries out, plants wither and wilt. Animals have trouble finding water to drink. Droughts are most common in places that normally have hot, dry weather, but they can happen in wetlands and rainforests too. That might sound strange, but remember, a drought means getting less rain than usual for a long time. That can happen anywhere. When you look at Earth from space, the first color you notice is blue. That's because water covers almost three quarters of our planet's surface. There's water in the sky too, Earth's water is always on the go. It moves from the ocean to the air to the land and then back again. This process is called the water cycle. As the warm, moist air moves up, it starts to cool. Cool air can't hold as much moisture as warm air, so the water vapor condenses. It changes into tiny water droplets. The water droplets clump together and form clouds. The drops grow bigger and bigger heavier and heavier, and finally, they fall to the ground as rain. Most of the world's water is in the oceans, so it's no surprise that most of the world's water vapor forms above warm ocean waters. Winds push some of the moist air over land. When clouds form, rain falls on fields and forests, cities and towns, but wind patterns can shift. The way water flows through oceans can change, ocean temperatures can rise or fall. Any of these changes may cause less rain to fall in some places than when a drought happens. A drought doesn't happen all at once. It builds up slowly over time. At first, streams dry up and plants droop. If the rain returns at this point, people barely notice, but the longer a drought lasts, the more trouble it causes. Heat bakes the soil until it cracks. Then plants begin to die. Their shriveled roots no longer hold soil in place. Wind picks up the dry, loose soil and blows it through the air. Sometimes a giant dust storm forms, causing the sky to go dark. Dirt and pebbles pelt people's bodies. The dust can bury roads and clog car engines. When plants die, rabbits, squirrels, and other plant eaters have trouble finding food. Some may starve. After a while, foxes, hawks, and other predators start to die too. They can't live without food and water. We depend on water too. We drink it every day. We also use it to clean our food, our clothes, our homes and ourselves. Farmers need water to grow crops. Companies use it to make products. During a drought, there may not be enough water to do all these things. That's why it's important to plan ahead. In places where droughts are common, towns build dams to store water for times when it's needed. Homeowners plant trees and shrubs that don't need much water to grow. Farmers plant crops that will survive during hot, dry weather. Scientists are always on the lookout for signs of drought. They use satellites in space to watch weather patterns all over the world. Scientists also pay close attention to changes in the oceans. They measure how much rain falls. They check water levels in rivers and lakes. They keep track of moisture in the soil. Scientists work hard to predict droughts before they start giving people time to prepare. 
During a drought, everyone tries to use less water. Families don't wash their cars or fill their swimming pools. They may stop watering their lawns. Shopkeepers sweep their sidewalks instead of washing them. When everyone makes changes like these, there is more water for drinking and cooking. We can't stop droughts from happening. They're a natural part of our world's weather. But we can plan ahead. If we use water wisely, droughts will cause fewer problems in the future.